Oh, 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 look at that. Huh, well, what if we have here? Look at this. I have a touch menu on my desktop. <laughs> All right. What is this? What the hell? What's going on? This is Glosk. Glosk. It's Global Steam Controller. This is a utility that is giving you, well, I mean, it's giving you global Steam Controller functionality. So, like, right now, you know, I have a de I have touch menu on my desktop, which is pretty fancy. Now, what this would be great for, I can't personally test it, but it works for uh, Windows Store games. So you open up the program, and then you can see there's a uh, UWP. Like, it, it could search automatically and find those for you. Like, when you first run it, it'll scan. I didn't have anything to add, and I have not personally had troubles adding my non-Steam games into Steam. Like, you, if you watch my videos, you can see I have, you know, many videos on how to get Origin games running. Like, it, it works for me. I'm able to get my Origin games in there. With that said, if you can't, and you're struggling, and I know a lot of you are, you can't get that Steam overlay to work in those Origin games, we use this thing. You can... So what you'd want to do, like, I... Yeah, so I made one for desktop Steam controller. So this is my instance. And then in Steam, I have you know my desktop Steam controller. So when I load that, that just pulls this up, which is basically just letting me know, hey, I'm now getting... I have nothing uh, linked to that instance, and I'm getting the Steam overlay with that profile. This was actually a little confusing. Like, I had to, you know, so I made the name. I had to save and create before I added it to Steam. It was just, that's just my own personal frustrations, you know. Give it a name and save it first, so you see it in a list over here, and then add it. So what this is basically doing is creating an empty profile for me to run the Steam overlay on. So then, you know, I load this up. Boom, this comes up, and then we're going to see that... So that lets me know I'm getting the Steam overlay. So from here, like, look, like I'm getting Steam overlay on my desktop. You can do that for anything. So I have, you know, just some basic, uh, you know, like open up a start menu. We're getting the Steam overlay on the desktop, and then I have, you know, that. You see that? I switched to a normal gamepad. So right now, I am running an X input controller from the desktop, which we could not do. Steam will not let you do that. That is pretty freaking cool. So from this point, I could... If I just want to use a Steam controller as a controller, I can load up a Uplay game, I can load up Origin, I can load up any other game, and the game is thinking that my Steam controller is an Xbox 360 or, you know, whatever. A standard X input controller. So that is pretty fancy. And then I can just switch back to my default, which gives me the mouse. So with that, just to show you that that's actually working, let's go, let's like open up. So I'm just gonna open up some, you know, itch.io game I have. So all right, we go, so right now I'm using the mouse. So we go to calibrate controller, nothing's working. So now I'm gonna switch over to my gamepad and now we can see, well, hey, look at that. Now I'm getting all the the axes. Yeah, there we go. Left stick. Right stick. You know, anyways, I don't need to play the game. Just showing you, you know, I'm getting the... You're getting the analog... Uh, X input, output, X input, output, <laughs> you know, from the desktop, which is pretty cool. I'm getting distracted. What am I talking about? You know, and then I go back to my default, which gives me the mouse keyboard and fancy stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh, woo. It's fascinating. But yeah, this is a, it's a pretty neat little utility here. Um, And then the only caveat is that, yes, you're going to have to have Steam running. And, you know, you would want to make separate shortcuts if you want to have different settings and different profiles for those games. For me, it's very useful, 
you know, because I can just get a basic global desktop standard Xbox kind of profile to run anytime I just want to play some little Unity game that I have that I didn't put into Steam. With that said, take a deep, big old deep breath. I think a lot of you can find really good use for this with uh, the Windows Store, UWP. It seems, you know, very good for that, which I unfortunately can't test that for you because I don't have any of those games. I kind of refuse to give them my business because F that, where you make a whole different kind of file format. I, I just want the EXE file. And... I'm guessing I haven't tested it either because I don't need it for the Origin games, but my gut feeling is this is going to work really good for the Origin games too when you're having those troubles with getting them to work effectively. You should be able to use this thing and it's going to punch it in there for you. It's a pretty cool little tool. But yeah, for me, it's exciting just to have a global... just to have you know, the Steam controller read as a game controller globally. That is pretty big. That's really cool. I'm barely scratching the surface of it, and I was kind of even confused of how it actually all worked. But once you dig in here, you're just getting, you know, getting this from the desktop, getting the Steam overlay working on the desktop is pretty cool. It lets you do a lot of stuff, and I'm I'm surprised that it's it's smart enough that it runs, you know, that I can switch between the mouse, you know, touch menu profile, and then switch to the overlay, you know, switch to the uh, action set gamepad, and the game reads that, like I just showed you in that quadcopter sim, that it's, it picks it up. <laughs> that's, that's pretty, pretty neat. So, all right, that's all I got. I will see you around. Oh! They can make it perfect through software, as really, I mean, that's what I'm going to say. Butt crawl. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Okay. Yes, you get it. <clears throat> yes, I feel it. The energy vibrating. <laughs> oh, shit.